Good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Meteorologist Carson Vickroy here. A lot to talk about. We have the smoky skies. We have fires out there. It's a high fire danger, and it doesn't look like we're going to have any relief in the way of rainfall here over the next several days. Now, we do have several current wildfires burning, the Wigwam Fire in the Gravelly Mountains and also the Monument Fire. The concern with these is they are at 0% contained, so they are going to continue to spread. That Monument Fire has spread from about 1,500 to perhaps 2,000 acres now with the latest estimates that have come in. That is much larger than it was yesterday. And then the two smaller fires, Bacon Ryan, that is in Yellowstone National Park, about 20 miles to the south of Big Sky, and then the Virginia Creek near the community of McAllister. Now, here's what's going on on satellite and radar. We do have a cold front that is pushed to the south of our area. That is what's kept us mainly cool today right now it's 77 in the studio which we'll take with how hot it's been over the last couple of days but it's been very hazy out there I w walked out the door this morning and I couldn't see any of the mountain ranges in the distance here in Bozeman so I mean that's gonna reduce the air quality and this is gonna last here for the next several days so expect that smoke that haze in and around town really over the next week and our fi fire danger is not any better Red flag warning is out at least through tonight. I would not be surprised if they extended it. They extended it into today, and that includes our entire viewing area from Butte to Bozeman to Dillon to West Yellowstone and some of those fires burning in Madison County. We do have a few showers out there right now. They're not going to provide much of a relief. It's going to be under a tenth of an inch at best to the south of Bozeman and West Yellowstone. The good news is there's no whitening out there with the exception of just to the south of I-90 in the Beartooth Mountain Range south of Greycliff there, but that's not really a concern for us right now. We'll keep our eyes on it. A few showers possible this afternoon, but it's a very slim chance and then as we head into tomorrow, we're mainly dry. It'll be a sunny morning. And then we could see a few of those showers and storms refire heading into tomorrow afternoon. So we'll keep our eyes out for that. We'll have more updates at 530 and 10. Stay tuned.